watching BBC News. We'll have uh, the latest headlines coming up and indeed the sport and the weather. Before all of that, though, let's uh, just talk for a minute about giant millipedes as long as cars which uh, were existing, apparently, over 300 million years ago. Across northern England, uh, scientists have discovered the largest ever fossil of one of them on a beach in Northumberland. And we can talk to Neil Davis and his uh, PhD one of his PhD students made the discovery. Um, Neil, thanks very much for being with us. I mean, just, t just tell us, first of all, and before we talk about this millipede and how big it was, how this fossil was discovered. Yeah, so I was out we were myself and two... PhD students, we were out um, on a kind of social geology field trip on a beach, just looking at rocks for fun. And it was January a few years ago, it was getting dark. And as we walked on the beach, we saw that a boulder had fallen from the cliff and split open. And we looked inside there and realised that, yeah, there was a giant millipede fossil inside there. And when you discover a fossil like that, I mean, did you, do you know immediately what it is? Well, we suspected what it was, uh, but, it, but we knew that we know we knew that there were large millipedes around at that time because they le they've left behind a trackway record, so their footprints. But their body fossils are really rare, and um, there's nothing as large as this has been uh, found. So we knew it was a possibility that's what it was, but we uh, we had to just double check with a number of people to make sure that's really what it was. Well, we're just looking at uh, an impression of what the millipede would have looked like now. Um, as we were saying, it was huge, wasn't it? You think of millipedes as, as rather small, but this was... Well, about the size of a car. Just tell us a bit more about what it, what it was like and, and what it did. Yeah, I mean, the, the, fossil, the fossil itself is huge and the millipede was even bigger. And these things were just roaming around kind of coastal environments with open woodland um, around the equator, because that's where Britain was at the time. And we're not sure what they'd have eaten because no one's ever been successful. No one's ever successfully found a head of one of these things. But we know there's lots of kind of... Um, vegetable matter knocking around, so seeds and so on from trees, and also some small amphibians and smaller animals that could have been prey for this this, this huge kind of beast. It's basically kind of the, 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 the elephant of its day. It's the largest kind of land animal on Earth during the Carboniferous. And this was 326 million years ago. Um, just give, give us a picture of what England was like at that stage. Well, so England at that time, it's attached to Europe, it's attached to North America and Greenland, and this big mega continent called La Russia is sitting right on the, the equator. So we're on the southern margin of that, uh, that, that continent at the time, and the southern plates of Gondwana are moving upwards and causing the, the, the building of a kind of a mountain range known as the Variscan Mountains, and we're right in front of that. And it's a, it's a very warm, tropical environment. You can see mountains up there in the distance, and where... In Northumberland, it would have been a kind of the top of a, a delta, so lots of little rivers crossing over a coastal environment with open woods. So um, just tell us, can people see it? It's going to go on display, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, it's going to go on display in the, um, the Cedric Museum in Cambridge in the new year. It's currently just behind me. But, um, it's uh, yeah, people will be able to come and see it for free very soon. How important is it, do you think, as a discovery? I mean, obviously, it's absolutely fascinating what you've been telling us. But in terms of uh, geology and so on, how important is it? Well, it's an interesting story because we found, we, we've discovered that this thing actually got really big earlier than people thought. So in the past, people have said it's oxygen spikes in the atmosphere that have led bugs to get really big. But actually, this predates those by quite a way. So that can't be the reason. So it must have just been the fact it was filling an empty niche on the land at the time and it had the food available and it had the lack of competition that meant it could kind of rise to dominance on the land. So it gives a nice impression of that. But it also tells you that, you know, the, the Northumberland coast has been looked at for geological reasons for over 100 years and it shows that there's still new discoveries out there that anybody can go and make. Yeah, and, and, and do you go, I mean, do you go regularly looking for, for fossils and hoping to stumble on something like this? Yeah, it's a bit of a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. Let's hope you find something else very soon.